Okay, so we don't need to do any one versus threes because if you remember in my trio challenge video, we um, played all of them thanks to that mode because you get to play all one all of the mini all of these mini games in that mode where all the stages. So for two versus two mini games. Um, we have done Bobsled Run, we have done Hand Car Havoc, we have done Dungeon Dash, we have done Speed Hockey, we have done Balloon Burst, we have not done Cake Factory. Work as a pair and make cakes, one player makes cakes, the other is strawberries. And I'm gonna be with Yoshi because, again... Berto and Yoshi are meant to be together. Okay, so I'm making... I'm just doing the cake. And it gets faster too. But hey, like, cake making is supposed to be Peach's specialty because she's always, like, baking cakes for Mario and we just totally kicked her butt. So, I don't buy it, Peach. I don't buy it for one second. Okay, we have done Sky Pilots. Also, by the way, if you see the minigames look like these hearts, um, that basically means I've listed them as my favorite. And these are all my favorites here, too. But we won't show them all, though. Oh, uh, we have done Edge and Catch. We have done Picking Panic. We have done Eat to Pizza. We have done Dungeon Duos. We have done Reverse of Bomb. We have done Burn Style. We have done Rocky Road. And we have not done Paint Misbehaving. And this is the last 2v2. 2 versus 2, whatever you want to call it. Shoot the Goombas to paint them your team color. And this is from Mario Party 8, and Mario Party 8 only had two minigames brought back. Where it only had three in the other version of the Superstars, which is the top 100. Which is completely bad. Like, it's this is totally better than top 100. I mean, all top 100 has is... A hundred mini games, yeah, but just one board. And it also didn't look that interesting too, so I mean it did have like a mini game island. But still it wasn't that great. Also, watch this guys. Do you know what? I just want to watch this for the whole day. They still have the cutscene where they get, where the other team gets to torture the losers. So yeah, I'm really glad they still have that. Also, I like how in most of the mini games in Mario Party 8, um, the winners get to torture the losers. It's I was like laughing so hard. Oh, dual mini games now. I think we've only done Motor Rooter, and I don't think we've played the other ones, let's do the other ones. Well, I think it was in Horrorland, we finally got a dual minigame and it was Motor Rooter. So let's do the other ones. So this is TikTok Cop, jump and avoid the clock, spinning hands, don't get hit. And there's also an Endless Mode. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention, but um... Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, Book Squirrel also has an endless mode where it doesn't stop until you, um, until you die. And that's the same thing for TikTok Hop, too. And you don't get to pick your opponent, which is kind of weird. You're just stuck with the person next to you. Which, in this case, is Yoshi.
you have to jump like very late like when it's basically right near you which is the bad thing because that's also pretty hard wait i've never seen it get this fast that early usually it went like really slow that was weird Yeah, I, I can't jump, like, at the right time. It's just, it's not my, it's, I just can't do it. Vine with me, jump at the right moment between swinging vines to reach the goal. Okay, this I can jump at the right time, but it's not in the version of TikTok Hop where you have to jump at the right time to avoid something coming at you. So basically, you just press A to jump between the vines. And it's actually not too hard. And if you fall, don't worry, you're not out. You just get to start back from uh, the vine you were just at. And we won. Because we're awesome at vine jumping, even though that's something Donkey Kong would be good at. So, next we have Mass Meteor. Yeah, this is my least favorite out of all of them, as you can see by the hearts. Dodge the floating asteroids and be, first, be the first to reach the finish line. So, um, you just have to move and not get hit. I was looking at the camera, not, um... And not, um... And not, um, the game, that's why I crashed. Oh, I'm terrible. Yeah, I am absolutely bad at this game. Oh my god, how are you supposed to get through that? Okay, we made it. Should be nothing else but the finish line. Yep. Also, watch Yoshi. Aw, I feel, I feel bad now, because he's just lost in space. I just feel terrible to go through all that. It really does. Okay, last is Spin Doctor. Navigate through a series of spinning gates and make your way to the goal. This is one of the games I did recognize more from 7... Or MP7, or Mario 37, what do you want to call it? So the blue ones, like, spin all the way around, but the red ones spin... Kind of, like, not all the way around. So this is the right way. Uh, I think it's right that we have to go. And then, yeah, it's this one we have to go to. What? How did you get there so fast? No, I'm doing that again. Sorry if that was too loud, but how the hell did he get there that fast? What, how, how does that normal difficulty... Like, he got there so fast, and I, I didn't even have time to figure out the right path. Cheater. Okay, he's already at the end, so we're just gonna move on. How the hell does he get there that quick? Yeah, that's cheating. 
I don't care what you guys say, that's cheating. How, how did he get there so fast? He got there in like 10 seconds. But anyway, let's move on from that. Again, sorry if I shouted, it was just, just don't get how we got there so quick. So, I think we've done Hammer Drop. Yeah, these are all the coin mini games. Yeah, we have. We have done Castaways. We've not done Parasol Plummet. Watch out. Wa collect the coins as you fall. Watch out for hammers. So, this is one of the games where what you get, you get. In the, what you get here, you get to keep, but it's, it's not actually like we're not playing board though. Yoshi, I don't understand how Yoshi's so great all of a sudden. Like how? Like how did he get, keeps on getting second? He's also cheating. I just don't get how he got there so fast. Like if you watch that back and you watch Yoshi's side, he got there like I I don't even want to say the word. He got there like out oh, like they just he just got there so fast. So I don't get how he did it. Okay, we have not done the x-ray payday. Watch the boxes as they get x-rayed to see what's inside. Try to open the boxes with coins in them. So what I do is I always look at the right. I don't look at the boxes when they're not x-rayed. So, let's see here. I got 19 and they all got 12. <clears throat> yeah, the max you can get is 20, but I missed one, which it's fine. Okay. Um, quicksand catch. Um, this is actually the only one versus three where I'm played yet, but it's actually a, uh, it's actually a, um, coin minigame. Solo side, stop your rivals from collecting coins. Team side, if you get sucked into the quicksand, you lose. Actually, the solo side is actually a bit hard. Wait, I didn't read the controls. Okay, that's all I have to do. But you basically have to try and get um, as many coins as you can. Like, how in the world do you get that many? Like, game, how is that normal? Difficulty. That's like master. Uh, River Raiders. Uh, yeah, we haven't played this yet. Okay, you're gonna be the solo because you win like everything. Collect coins that travel down the river. Be careful not to hit the floating logs. If Yoshi wins this, and Yoshi's like. I feel like he's on, like, a much harder difficulty or something.
I don't know why he didn't go for that coin back. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is actually not too hard, but it's, uh, it's sort of hard because I don't know, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but the solo player can basically force you to go one way and, and it can, um, it, it forces you to go, like, left and stuff, and, uh, yeah, that's all I want to say. Okay, so I was just checking my list, and we only have two more mini games left because we've done money belts, and we have done puddle paddle. So it's cash a pull and winner or dinner. And yeah, I'll still be with you. So for this mini game, the you have to um, you'll get launched into the air, and you will you have to collect the coins. That are in the sky. I probably should have let Yoshi dealt with his side, but I didn't want to. The max is 20, which I don't think we're gonna get. Okay, one more mini game left. God, look how many we've done. It's crazy. And then after that, we'll take a look at the wins and losses. Okay, winner or dinner. Grab coins, but watch out for piranha plants. And this is the last game from Mario Party 8. Again. I, I really wish there could have been more from that game, but there wasn't, unfortunately. I mean, this one was alright. There is a mini game I really wanted them to bring back, and it's called Mosh Pit Playroom. It's basically where you collect all these colorful, like, you collect all the balls of your same color, of your player color, which I think it's really awesome. Don't throw me. Yeah, and we totally destroyed them. Also, look at this. That's really cool. I do like that. So, guys, that is it. Oh my god, this took like literally so long. So now let's look at the wins and losses. So I won 28 mini games. Yoshi won 9. Mario won 4. And Peach won 3. And it's also like it's in order to. Again, I still don't get how Yoshi won that. I mean, won that. Uh, what's that one called again? Spin Doctor. Like, he just. I know I keep saying this, but he got there so fast. I don't get how he did it. Look, he even tapped his head too. But anyway, let's go get out of here. I don't know if I'm going to make it to level 90, but I'll try. Because the max level is 99. So... I only have, um, 14, actually no, uh, 13 more levels until I'm at the max. So yeah, that's it for Mount Mini Games. so let's go ahead and get out of here. So in the next video, we'll be showing off Option House, Data House, uh, we can't show off the Friend House because it involves online. And then, we already showed off the Toad Shop, it's just basically where you can just buy stuff, and this is why I did it at the end of some of the videos in this playthrough. So, I bought all- I 
bought all the stickers. I bought all of the card designs. I almost have all of the encyclopedia, which is something you can look at in the data house. And then I have all the music. And then, um, you also get, oh god, console battery low. Well, it's a good thing we're at the end of the video now. How much do I have left? Fifteen. Okay. So. Yeah, this next video is gonna be the finale, and I'm very upset about it, because I don't want this to be over, but. That's just the way it's gonna be. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys for the closing video of Mario Party Superstars, where we'll show off the option house and the data house, and also the credits. And the credits, like I said, are really, like, cool in this game. Because it gives, like, a throwback to all the games. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Anyway, bye guys.